All right. Another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. Just bored. Just trying to build up another beginner base. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm over here on Supreme Gaming. It's one word. Supreme Gaming Island. They also got Scorched Earth in the center, but I haven't gone there. Scorched Earth is a bitch. Surprised there's so many people on the center. But anyway, I'm going to join right now. You guys are welcome to come join my tribe if you want to bother logging in. You know. <laughs> oh, the name of my tribe is the Free Minds. Free Minds. Still here, nobody's killed us. All right, we're not dead, we're not surrounded by monsters. All right, So I guess I can go try to get some metal. That'd be a good start. But let's get some stuff started here. Oh, I forgot I have to get this guy. Free Minds is my tribe tribe name. I'm the only one in the tribe. Alright, let's check this out here. Now I got Big Ward here lined up. Got Big Ward saying, I'm quitting YouTube. Yeah, right. I don't believe that shit. And then I got Big Ward saying, Attention, proof that Democrats are lying. <laughs> I don't like to get political, but it's just funny that we'll hear him. Now, this guy, this video, I'd rather die than work nine to five. I think I had it in one of, uh, in probably in one of the Skyrim episodes uh, for Mage. I don't know which one, but I had him in there. And this guy comments, just like I comment on some of these videos, he comments as well. So it's really his uh, thing but he's like a he's pro man to you know be masculine be a masculine not a, a simp or a, like a a weak man legion of men is the name of his channel if you like what he says but let's do him first because he's more unique welcome back tribe i have another one recommended by you guys here a smaller channel by a guy named sean desolate and he says i'd rather die than work a nine to five this should be interesting. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video journal. I did a video like this not too long ago. Um, today I had a work meeting and it was the most, I have never felt this much dread in my life before. And I don't know, I got to a point where I was like, we were talking about how we're all excited for our vacation. That's all people talk about at work, waiting for vacation. They live to wait for vacation. I said, you know, I only have two weeks of vacation and like, it's 10 days. <laughs> That's all you get. You work your whole year to give your time and your soul to someone else to help build their company. And in exchange, you get 10 days. Ooh. So it's like, wow, you, you, you're, the rest of the time, you're just slaving away like uh, for a company. And then you get 10 days. Ooh. And he said, yeah, welcome to the real world. But 
you're still young. You've barely started in this career. You've only been doing it for about three, four years now. Um, you know, and uh, maybe in a few years, in three, four years, you'll have three weeks. And then, uh, you know, when you're like uh, that other guy and he pointed to a colleague. A simp that's been there for decades. Peep this. <clears throat> <laughs> that guy's interesting opinion. I haven't if heard you can't a lot see of what this man. says, uh, I'll read it to you right now. It has a picture of a pharaoh and it says 2500 BC, Genesis 47. Slaves owned by pharaoh were required to pay him 20% of their income, crop harvest, basically. And then it says 2024 AD, a picture of the American flag. The median U.S. taxpayer pays 24.8% income tax, along with 7.65 FICA taxes. On his taxed income, he then pays, pays sales tax, property tax, gas tax, and many other taxes and fees. Welcome to modern day slavery. Uh, he said, uh, well, you know, you'll, after 15 years of working, you'll get four or four weeks. He's about to get five. <laughs> right. So you're telling me if I slave away and I give all my time to someone else? And all the other disadvantages that come with having a nine to five, well, more eights to five because my lunch isn't paid. You tell me I can get twenty days. Ooh, really? You know the worst part is exchanging time for money. There's commute. If you have your own company, you can deduct your commute to work, right? As an employee, you're taxed before you get the money, so you can't deduct anything. So people think like you. You're supposed to do this. This is because you're taught this in school. You're taught this with from family, from friends. It's like you're supposed, you're supposed to do this. This is the only way. I, I, I said this in my other video. The only time like I'll recommend a traditional path is if you've got something that makes you happy that you want to achieve. I know someone who wants to become a lawyer because that's what they want in life and that's their their meaning to live. Some people want to be a teacher. Some people want to be a doctor and save lives. Then do it. Do that. But I can't, I can't get taxed the hell out of what you make before you even make it. Whereas if you have your own company, you, if you're smart with that money, you can make that money grow before you pay taxes at the end of the year. Yep. So you, you're, you win. Plus money's worth less as time goes on. So that, that tax amount you need to pay, it's worth less later. So it's better to pay it later than immediately. I remember what it's like to be this young guy who's frustrated, dude. It seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. You're pretty much smarter than your bosses. They're really incompetent. They're just low value salary employees that don't put in any extra effort. And you're seeing that your life is passing you by. You're young. Nobody will give you a shot. You got no real marketable skills just yet. It takes time you, to get some experience, to get something, some knowledge that will help you out in your career. And even when you do go to school, you'll probably end up at a job in a position that has nothing to do with what you learned. That's a very frustrated position millions of men are under today in the West. Knowing that they're capable of more, knowing that life should be more than this, there's got to be more to life than this. I, that shit used to run through my head nonstop when I was in his position, right there dressed up in my button up, about to clock in so some asshole could yell at me and tell me how he's doing a better job or that this is expected of me when I'm the one taking his share of the responsibilities and then he's passing it off to our superiors as if he's done the excellent work when it was really me. Can't really say shit because he may be a supervisor or a manager of some type and I'll get fired or my hours get reduced or God knows what else they can do. And then they put you through these training courses of absolute guard. I remember when I applied at Lowe's and I got hired. I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot, one of them. And I can't, the cringiest, they brought like 300 people that worked into the store. And they had an entire staff meeting, team member meeting, where they were playing the most cringiest, like anti-union propaganda bullshit that was like you don't need unions you don't need raises you don't even need food slave here's how you sell this refrigerator here's how you get this extra percentage on sales by doubling up on these items when the customer asks this question and shove down memberships straight deep straight out their assholes when they ask about them give them the five-year guarantee They'll never come back to use it anyway. It's fucking wild. The kind of corporate propagandist bullshit that they feed you. All while they're giving you shit Diet Coke or Pepsi or whatever else fucking poison you're supposed to drink. With their cheap ass fucking 
microwave pizza. What? They can't even spring for like a fresh DiGiorno's or Pizza Hut or some shit like that. They got to get you the whack place down the street with cockroaches coming out. Here you go, good little slave. We've given everybody a two penny raise. Yeah. And everybody claps like fucking morons. And you're just seeing these people do defeated, zero energy, no life in their eyes. Just going, yeah, two cent raise. Yeah, at least we didn't get fired today. Yeah. The most depressing work environment of my entire life. One of like that, along with other jobs that are entry level and bullshit was one of the most like pivotal moments in my entire life. That's when I knew I had to get out. I would rather die than work the nine to five. Just like this young man says, I had the same exact feeling. Absolutely. I have to start my own business. Whatever it takes, I have to be my own man. I have no choice. I would rather be under a bridge dead and broke begging for fucking food than have to do another one of these nine to five shifts where I feel like my soul is literally being sucked out of my fucking body by this corporation that has me sitting here clocked in like a little rat and just staring at rafters and stacking shit, telling me what a good boy I've been. And don't you dare clock out late and make sure you go on your lunch. We can't afford to pay you an extra penny. It's so bullshit, dude. I will take being an entrepreneur. I will take being a business owner. I'll take risk investing my money over that shit any day of the week. I don't care. Some weeks are better than others. Some weeks are nightmares. Kill what you eat out here as an entrepreneur. If you're not in there putting in work, you don't get paid a single penny. It's all purely self-motivation. That whole hourly wage salary bullshit is like, it is a trap in life. You're trading growth for security. That's what it is. You want the weekly paycheck. You want the pat on the back. You want to make sure you feel safe, tucked away in your little blankets, knowing that you got your pitily shit paycheck coming in every week. And you're it, apparently some people are, or a lot of people are so fine with the idea of that consistent paycheck that they'll throw away their entire future, all their potential, all the things they may have been able to attempt, all the opportunities that passed them by, all the risks they could have taken, which could have rewarded them with a completely different life, having the things you dream of having. Instead, you took the easy way out, a paycheck. And I'm not shitting on the normal dudes that are doing this, for example, like firefighters, policemen, you know, things of that nature, like critical infrastructure jobs, all that stuff, the guys on the roofs, the dudes digging ditches, putting up power lines, that's a different kind of work, that's man shit. Infrastructure building and maintenance, man shit. But when you're in an office or a sales associate of a mega corporation with thousands of locations, it's soul sucking. I felt better when I was slogging it with my dad on the wall, putting up stucco, doing carpentry work, completely covered in dust and cement and God knows what chemicals that probably took years out of my life than to be in that shitty place where I'm staring in between the aisles, wondering there has to be more to life than this. That shit just rings in my head forever. Even now, I, I will never accept this as the end. You can't. You'll become complacent. When you get taxed before your salary, that's when you lose the most. And then you're left with nothing because the moment you quit your job, like I quit tomorrow, there's nothing left. You have yep. built up something for yourself that you keep for yourself. You, you work all this time, you leave and that's it. They're thankful you did it for them. We are left with nothing. They're not going to be like, Hey, for all the hard work you did, you know, we're going to pay you a monthly salary of like 10% of what you earned total just to like keep you going. No, no, it's over. My, my colleague, uh, when I told But rich people do, you should look up the golden parachutes of some of these CEOs, the severance packages the CEOs get for sitting on their ass and not really doing shit. Most of the CEOs we got today are absolute dog shit at their job. That's why they switch between companies so much because they're failing the companies they get hired at. But it's okay. They get a 20 million bonus sign on package. Um, they'll have a 25 million severance pay golden parachute. Imagine you quitting your job and getting like two, three years worth as a severance package. Isn't that nuts? Nope, you average club get nothing, no security. But my corporations need ultra profits. There's gonna be a dude in the comment section saying, you want socialism? No moron, we just want a living wage. Hold on, it's really depressing. He says, yeah, well you don't think about it cause then you'll wanna die. But you Jeez. get older and you'll learn to suppress the feeling. <laughs> what? So you, is that life? Is that what life's supposed to be? Learn yeah. to suppress the feeling of wanting to die? That's not nice. I'm happy. I'm not a sad person. I have big ambitions, big dreams. 
working for someone else and thinking it's the only way is wrong. Oh no, yeah. Find I can't another, do it. I know a lot of people do. in the comments will be like, well then prove it. <laughs> or, uh, yep. Yeah, well you just need to accept it. <laughs> There's always these fucking booger brains. You'll see them under this comment section too. Not everybody can do it, bro. We're not all cut out for it. We just want security. Yeah, go call security on your ass when you have an emergency at the hospital and you only got 400 bucks and nothing more to cover it because you got to decide to be a bitch and take the safe way out. Security! That's what you get for security, bro. If you haven't had a fire lit up under your ass, life isn't beating you down, you're sick of living paycheck to paycheck, you got no future, no doors opening, nothing, you're stuck in place, cooking out for a corporation. If all that shit is not enough to get you moving, investing in yourself and starting a business, whether you... Succeed or not, let it fail. Who gives a shit? You learn something valuable for the next one to potentially succeed. If all of that isn't enough, you deserve exactly where the fuck you are and your shitty life. At the end of the day, these two things right here, they're magic. These are the only things in your entire life that'll get you out of the position you're in today. No amount of praying, no amount of hoping, no amount of manifesting, no amount of writing down in a journal what you wish for in life. No talking to Santa Claus or the God you believe in, I'm telling you. If you don't put your faith in these, you ain't fucking going nowhere. And that's the one they don't want to hear the most. Sit there like the delusional boss babes and pray upon a star in a constellation because you're a retrograde in asparagus. Go do that. See how well it pans out for you in life. I think that's just the consensus. People say, you, well, you just need to accept it. That's what my colleagues mm -hmm. were saying. Crabs in the bucket. I wonder how, how many men with successful businesses or guys that made complete lateral moves in life like... Maybe you're working an office job, decided to just switch it up, screw it, and go to trade school, and then now you're welding, or now you're doing a HVAC or electrician or something like that, and you're pulling in way more, like six figures or more, and you're a completely free man now, simply for having the balls to complete changes up. Please, can I read positive shit from the guys who actually have the balls, had the balls in their life to actually do something, the old heads that are retired? with their hundreds of thousands or potentially millions in assets that they've gained by having a pair of balls to invest in themselves. Can you write to all the bitter booger brains that are going to inevitably comment like, we're not all capable of this. Not everyone wants to own a business. Please, reading that shit, it makes my brain melt. You just need to accept that's normal life. Uh-huh. Because that's what they've Don't. been told. Exactly. I'm sorry, maybe I, I dream in color. But I'd much rather do that Ooh. than black and white, you know? Oh, I don't care about money. I want time. God damn. I, Ten hours every day is gone. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, you're not living that, your life. No, I never it's never been life. about the money. I don't care about money. I, with money give I me, with cut my salary in half. I don't care. I want control over time. Perfect. When you, I'm at the office and there's no work left to do. And it's 3 p.m. And you do this, waiting for 5 p.m. to come. And you feel your soul slipping away. There it is. Perfect. Just wasting away. School teaches you that failure is a bad thing. Mm. The moment you go to school, you're told an F. You fail. It's bad. Failure is thought like you fail once, it's over. You have to restart. It's done. That's not true. Failure is a part of life. It's important. Now, how do you learn mm. to skate? You, you fall. How do you learn to ski? You fall. You get back you up. You fail. That's what's fail. important. Mm -hmm. I like this dude. He's bright as fuck. He has the great mentality. He'll be a successful business owner one day. I can tell you right now. There's no amount of obstacles or problems he's going to run into. Whatever multiple businesses he's going to attempt to start or one of them will not be a guaranteed success. Nothing's stopping this guy. I tell you, there's nothing that's going to get in his way. He has the winner's mentality. This is what it is. This is what it takes. This is actually exactly what we talk about in the private community when I, we do those calls. I have episodes up here that we talk about shit like that all the time what it takes to be successful, the mentality you need to have, how you need to view failure, the books that we're reading right now, like Psycho Cybernetics, it talks about all this stuff. The mental image that you project internally of yourself, how it outwardly manifests into your actions day to day. It's not an accident that you are exactly where you are right now. It's not an Swear, accident that you believe yourself to, to be break, either the, to the shy guy, Almost the timid guy, the folks, confident guy, the family. dude who could succeed in business, the dude who could never succeed in business. That's because that's what you would believe of yourself internally. It was just getting good, too. I'm going to back him up a bit. God damn it. Over again. Except I don't remember any Chinese lady sergeants there drilling recruits with pig stickers. Besides, 
I wasn't keen about enlisting in a brand new war so soon after I'd gone AWOL from another. So I struck out on my own, but not too far. Thought there might be something to that safety in numbers idea, in case those guys from the mine came back to make an example of us escapees. I spent a few days building a nice tree fort all my own, off to one side of toothpick terraces. No sooner did I have my place set up just the way I liked it, when the bad guy showed up. I knew we were in for it when I saw they had artillery mounted on dinosaurs. And sure enough, they started raining hell on us. All that worked for nothing. In the middle of a mess, I managed to spot the kid from the mine again. The one who broke us out? You think I would have learned by now to stick with her. But no. I heard her yelling to run into the swamps and decided I might do better going the opposite way. Already thinking I might have screwed up again. Bob. Uh, I had to stop it because <clears throat> it was overlaying with the other one we're listening to. Damn, it was just getting good. I was like all into it and shit. Is that a Giga Gaga? It's a Giga Gaga. Giga. Level 8 Giga. Anyway. There's a Giga there. I bet that's two different Giga, but that's only a level 8. Level 8 Giga is shit. You know, you can't do anything with it. <clears throat> Except kill it and try to take its heart. You can get the Giga Heart. You can kill it and get the Giga Heart. You can use it as a trophy. But I don't know if that works on this map. I forgot what map it is that you need that for. You know. Some servers allow you to transfer, and some servers don't. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to get rid of the clouds. There's a couple of uh, commands you use to get rid of clouds. So very congested, right? <clears throat> All right, so we got some metal here. Let's get that started. Uh, let's turn the other guy back on since this thing finally. It was just a. Oops. It was just a. Uh, a note, one of those notes that you read, but it's a pain. All right. This kid is too smart, damn it. I'm what it takes to be successful, the mentality you need to have, how you need to view failure, the books that we're reading right now, like Psycho Cybernetics, it talks about all this stuff. The mental image that you project internally of yourself, how it outwardly manifests into your actions day to day. It's not an accident that you are exactly where you are right now. It's not an accident that you believe yourself to be either the, the shy guy, the timid guy, the confident guy, the dude who could succeed in business, the dude who could never succeed in business. That's because that's what you would believe of yourself internally. That's the mental picture you have of yourself. You are the nervous dude. You are the shy guy. You are the fat dude. You're the whatever, whatever it is, both negative and positive. That internal image you have of yourself is who you project out into the rest of the world. There's a lot of mental work every man here can be doing to write themselves and rewrite the software in their mind. This isn't permanent and you don't have to go to your grave believing yourself. Whatever preconceived notions that have been drilled in there through childhood, trauma, experiences, yada yada, the list goes on. Everything can be rewritten. If you're interested in taking that kind of control, if you're interested in learning more in this kind of stuff, 
This is the other side of self-improvement. It's more than just physically getting up and lifting heavy weights or going for a run. It's about mental work as well, retraining, retooling your mind to be successful. Because the physical part is only a small part of the actual battle. The war is all in here. This is the most important battle a man will have in his entire life, winning this one. Once you get a foothold on this, the rest comes easy, I'm telling you. If you are interested, click on these two videos up here. Each of them talks about various topics like that, and it's on our second channel if you're not even aware of it. Join our private community if you want to be a part of these kinds of calls and speak with me directly because we host them four times a week, Monday through Thursday. If you want something more personalized, I do private consults as well. All the links are in the description, and if you want something free, there's a Discord for you guys too. All links are in the description, man. Take a step forward. It's all in here, and you use this to bring it into the physical world. If you can think it, you can make it happen. That simple. I need the chitin. Now this guy's got his own fucking workshop and shit. You know, to handle this stuff against. See, I was raised by a woman who didn't believe that a man was anything, and she put that that mentality on me. She forced it down my throat because she didn't want to control me. She just wanted to get back at men through her own son, who was easy to control and manipulate. Because I was a kid, I didn't know any better. It took, I mean, I'm in my 50s and I'm still traumatized by that stuff that that crazy woman did. I was surrounded by a bunch of nuts. Then there were people in the church that were crazy. There were people outside the church that were crazy. Just every fucking place. So after a while, you get kind of like discouraged, I would say. See, it doesn't close the door sometimes. It pisses me off. And it jumps you off. The same button to close the door is the one that makes you jump off. Anyway, let me get some more of this. Mm, I think that one might shred my... That one might actually shred my thing. Oh, it's already damaged. I might get lucky and kill it. Yeah, it's already mostly dead. Must have attacked something recently. I got another twenty eight chitin. Another bird up over there. One eighty four. Yeah, for that you wanna have a bunch of uh things ready for it, you know what I mean? Shit, it's another fucking bird. One thirty six, huh? And I can try to get it, but oh, another one way over there too. That's a two hundred. Thing is I don't have a trap. 
See, it's not zeroing on, zeroing in on my boys because it can't see them. That's the only reason. Fucking birds. Anyway, I was trying to get. Um, I'm just trying to get uh, wood anyway. As long as it doesn't attack my boys over there, I don't give a shit. But let me go up in the air and switch over. All right. <laughs> I like this guy. That's why I subscribe to him. It's a manly man. Legion of men. Now this one is, see that was four hours ago and this one was 12 hours. So we'll do the 12 hours first. I'm quitting you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Big word, the genius. Today is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. As always, I really, really appreciate it. And this is a touchy subject I'm about to deal with right here. Hold on, y'all. Control the sun back right there. See how the background changes? Isn't that neat, y'all? Anyway. This is a touchy subject. It's something that I dealt with when I first started, then started again, and been dealing with for the last couple of months. And it came to a ball last night on my live, after the live, rather. I don't talk about it much. I haven't talked about it at all. This will be my first time talking about this, how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what's on my mind, what have you. And if it happens, y'all will know why. But I'm the type, I work hard for what I want. I'm going to put in the work. I'm not asking for no handouts. Um, nobody to give me nothing. I believe that if I work, put in the, what I need to put in, I should be rewarded for it. And if I don't do nothing, I shouldn't be rewarded. But like with the government and anything else, I believe let people put in their work and get out the way. Let people work and do their thing. You know, unless they hurt somebody or whatever. But I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not anti anybody. I'm not preaching hate. None of that, right? I try to watch, you know, when I first started, before I got monetized, I used to cuss a whole lot. I don't cuss as much as I used to. I still let one slip here and there. But I try to, because I had a lot of subscribers or whatever, asking me to, you know, cut back on the cussing. So I try to respect y'all wishes on that, because, hey, I ain't got a cuss. And, you know, so I try to cut back on my cussing, trying to do what I need to do to help the channel grow, to stay in compliance, to stay in the, the, the law and the rules, what they have, right? And they still come at you. Let me start with this. I've been on here actively now, going hard for a year. So I'm at 62 subscribe, 62,000 subscribers in one year, which is unheard of for a, a guy starting from the bottom that didn't have a name like a a Willie D or Nino Brown or somebody who was already known and they just came over to YouTube like Shannon Sharp. They already known. So they come over to YouTube and get a million subscribers ain't no big deal. Somebody like me that just grassroots from the ground nobody ever heard of to get 60 some thousand subscribers in one year is unheard of. From what I heard. I don't know. Don't care. Don't matter. I'm just doing what I love. I was doing what I love. So I first got on here during COVID, like 2020, 2021, I made like three videos about COVID. And they were censoring the hell out of me. I couldn't say this, couldn't say that. 
couldn't say the C word. Well, I, I just said they might say somebody was saying COVID now. So I got on here in 2020, made three videos about what was going on with the COVID thing. I seen how they were censoring me and like I couldn't say, I wasn't cussing, wasn't there, I just, I can't say the word. Can't say this, can't say that, I, I, I quit. Like, I ain't doing this. I'm not doing this. And I ain't getting paid. So I quit. I started in 2020, quit in 2020. Because of censorship. Politically correct. Can't say this, can't say that, can't. I, I, and I understand saying stuff like, you're gonna do something to somebody. Threatening people, you know, I understand that. But basically, I just can't say what's on my mind. I gotta be kept, don't, in case they, they don't say that word. Don't, like, really? I'm a grown ass man. I know better. I know not to, you know, threaten people and hate pe hate speech. I know, I know that. That's common sense. I don't do that in real life, let alone on here. So I quit, and I started back in 2023 with the same three or four subscribers I had, which were my cousin Trina and a couple more, and I went from there. Kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. All the way through, same shit. Censorship. This, that, 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 that. I almost quit again. I was going to quit again. I talked to my cousin Trina about it. And she talked me out of quitting. So I, I didn't quit that time either. So fast forward to the day. I said, I bought all this equipment. I got like a $1,200 computer I'm sitting here, right here. Not the phone, but the computer. That I go live with. Microphone, lighting, all this stuff, uh, the internet thing, the connection. I bought internet, because I ain't care about no internet out here in my apartment. I'm in the wood. My, my neighborhood looked just like that in the back, but that ain't, that's just a screen thing. But I'm in the woods. That's why my connection uh, be tripping on my lives, what have you, sometimes, because of where I am. That's far I might locate to the nearest tower. So I invested all this money into this to go live, right? Because y'all said, big boy, you need to go live, I'm going to go live, right? Y'all know it's a business. I'm trying to make a few dollars. Especially now, because I don't really hardly work. So I need it now more than ever. So I go live, I said, I'm going to go live more and more, see how, I, how it works. I was going Saturday. I said, I'm going to go through the week. I was supposed to do it Wednesday, but I, I, something happened. I'm going to change the date to Thursday, not Wednesday. I'm going to see how that works going twice a week. And if it's successful, I'll go more days a week as y'all request. Do y'all want me to go more days a week live or less days? Like make a couple of videos throughout the day, go live at night. However y'all want me to do it, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, touch bases with what my people want, right? But I, it's still a business I need to make money off of, right? So I did my live last night, successful, did good, people loving it, what have you. Go to do my monetization, they hit me with the yellow flag. I can't monetize it. And suitability. If you watched the live last night, what the hell did I say that a, commer that a commercial can't other than I'm not for the Democrats. Other than I'm not for this agenda they pushing on the kids with the, you know, all that stuff. Which I'm not against the community. I'm against it for kids. Being forced on kids. Lo and behold, they're hitting with the censorship thing again. I didn't say nothing out the way, no hate speech. I don't hate the community. I'm not anti nothing. I got family members in the community. I got friends. I, I, I would actually claim I got gay friends. I'm not ashamed to say that. I've been accused of being gay because I got a gay friend. People kind of say, hey, you ain't gay, you hanging with... That's my homie. What, what you mean? So that's me. But I come on here. I need a list of words I can and can't say. That ain't me, man. So all night long, when I seen that thing said add suitability on my live, I done went two two and some two up for two hours and can't get paid for it. So I'm not doing that live. I, I'm gonna still do the live. 
I'm still thinking. Well, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm frustrated right now. And I've been thinking hard on this all night because I love what I'm doing, but I don't want to do it for free no more. I did it for free for a long time because I believed in it and I believed in myself. And I know what I can do when I set my mind to something and I work hard and I grind, I know I'm going to get it. But I don't like when some outside entity is interfering with my work. I don't like when some outside force is interfering with my dream. It's not me. It's not me not willing to put in the work. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And then here you come telling me, you can't get nothing for You just work for nothing. Because we don't think you should say anything about the Democrats. We don't think you should say anything about the, the uh, Kamala Harris or whatever. whatever. You know, y'all know what's going on. So I was thinking all night last night after that thing when I seen that I was so frustrated I'm like, I quit this shit. I'm sick of it. They're going in unsubscribing my, my, my subscriber. Y'all know that. Y'all been telling me about that. I didn't know that. I got all this going on. They go in. You thought you were subscribed. You haven't been seeing my video. You go check. You ain't even subscribed. You, you, they unsubscribed. You didn't do it. I didn't, you thought I did it. I didn't do it either. They're not notifying you. Even though you didn't hit the notification bell, they still ain't notifying you that I dropped a video. They got all this going on. Look, knick-knack, pat-a-wet, give a dog a bone bullshit. And here I am, I'm just trying to do my best, trying to get better, trying to improve, see can I, how can I do this better, do that better. I've come a long way since I first started. And I plan on continuing to get better, according to how y'all want me to do. But then I got them doing a little petty bullshit. I know it's them. And I know why. I'm not the only one. Anybody with an independent viewpoint that's not liberal leaning, I can be independent as long as I'm liberal. I don't rock like that. So it's really riding my mind heavy again to quit this shit. And not cause it a hater, even, and, oh, and that, that got on my nerves too, but I done got used to that, the troll, I didn't, the, the troll, like, that's a whole, that's, I didn't even discuss them, I forgot all about the trolls and the haters, the death threats, I get death threats for this, like, I'm the president of something, I'm just, who am I, death threats? But that weighed on the list on why I'm thinking about quitting. It ain't got nothing to do with that. But I'm so frustrated right now. The Wednesday through the week live, that's done. I'm making money off that. If I don't get donations from y'all, uh, what have you, I, I don't get no money. Cause every, every week they hit me with the... Every week. When I do live, they hit me with a thing where I can't make no money off of because I, uh, I see it somewhere. I have to go and get it reviewed and this, that. I got to do that every, I got to wrestle with them every week. And then they review it and then, oh, you, you were good. You ain't saying nothing wrong. I know I did. I know I did. I'm watching what I'm doing. I know what I, know what I can, can and what I'm supposed to do. But every week I do the live now, add suitability. You can't run no commercials on your, on your video. That's the only way I make money off commercial. But I can't run no commercials and can't get paid. They don't run the commercials on so-called so videos that are not ad-friendly. Whatever the hell that is. When they put commercials on some of the filthiest stuff in the world. You watch TV. TV is full of filth nowadays. They still run a commercial. But I can't say certain words on here or the commercials are going to feel, you know, they, and they commercial friend. Bullshit. Y'all censoring. And I can't do nothing about it. But I ain't got to put up with it. I can't control what them people do. Just like you're in a bad relationship with a woman or a man, you can't control them, but you can control what you can do. Which you can, you can walk away from that shit rather than have your mind messed up. They're getting on my nerve really bad now. So I'm still, if I don't, I'm, I got to think over this today. 
If I was to still continue, the only live I would do is Saturday. Y'all asked me to do it, I thought it would be a good idea to do a live show, let that build up. YouTube ain't hearing that. Now they're coming at me with that. After you done put in all that work, just imagine putting in all that work and you work at your job with having and they tell you, no, you, you, we ain't getting paid. You ain't getting paid. For some petty bullshit. You didn't tie your shoes right. You didn't have your work boots tied right so you ain't getting paid this week, even though you don't work. What would you want to do? That's how I feel with these folks, man. I'm subscribing, y'all. I want my subscriber go up, down, up, back up. I'm hearing y'all email y'all emailing me complaining about Big Wall. Why you unsubscribing? I didn't. YouTube did it. Big Wall, why you ain't sending out notifications? I am. You hit the notification bell. They supposed to steal it to you. That, that's not on me. But now you look at the channel with that straight bullshit. Me, you subscribe. Talking about their car. The jury, the women. Some bullshit. 500,000 subscribers, million subscribers. And I'm not knocking they hustle. I'm knocking you. You know, I don't want to say their name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to come on here, y'all, and let y'all know what's going on in my mind right now, what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling. It robbed me real hard to quit this shit. And if I decide to do it, I'm letting y'all know why. It wasn't called no trolls or nothing like that. It was strictly them interfering with your creativity. If I can't be me, I don't want to do it. I'm giving y'all me. That's what y'all are here for, me. At least that's what I think y'all are here for. Me being me, being authentic, not some made up, fabricated, political correct bullshit. I grew so quick because y'all found somebody who's in the car with the roof dirty who knew that that what people were going to relate to. I didn't. I was just being me. I didn't know that. I didn't play in that. Just being me and people like authentic. Good or bad. You being you. Not fake. Made up. Kim Kardashian. But somebody bigger than me don't like that. So I say, before I let y'all put the foot on my neck, I walk Shit. away. 60,000 and all, you're not going to play with me. And I mean that by anybody. You're not going to play with me. I'm not going to put in all this work and then you tell me you can't be rewarded for it. So I just wanted to drop in for a minute. I got all day today. I'm going to think I might go to work today. I don't know what the hell. I got to figure out what's going on with my job, what have you, but I'll figure something out. But they're not going to keep playing with me. I'm subscribing my subscribers. All right. 130 Kitan. That's I can't say this. And I, and I know better. I'm a grown man. I know not to say certain things. I mean, I know better than that. But, but they ridiculous with it, y'all. They, they ridiculous. And it's so, y'all, I deal with this day in and day out. Y'all don't, you, you, I be dropping three videos. I really drop more than that. They, they cut some of them. I can't upload them. I have to go back and change the case. Three videos a day ain't nothing. A lot of times I've been to drop one or two and I had more than that. It didn't make it through the process. And I had to, I do this on a daily basis. I got so much content up here. Talk about anything. Been like that. They don't want to see nothing like that on here. A dude like me blow up. That ain't in the system. That ain't in part of the clique. So we're going to see. Because I, I hate to qu I'm not a quitter. But I'm not going to keep fighting against a stack deck. That's a losing battle. I can't win like that. I'm trying to win. I'm playing fair against somebody who's cheating. How would you feel? If you don't, you're supposed to do, and somebody still got their foot on your neck.
because they feel like it, because they can. Would you stay there or would you say F it? I'm, on, I'm just far from saying F it. There's some people that'll be happy about that, some of you haters, but I, I don't give a damn. If I'm not at peace with what I'm doing, I ain't doing it. So again, the live through the week done. I thank everybody for the donation. That's the only way it's worth it. I got some donations last night that helped me get it. If I wouldn't have got the donations I would have got last night, from the cash out and from y'all doing the super chats or what have you, I'd have been done. I'd have, that'd have been two and a half hours or more for nothing. For free. If it wasn't for y'all, and I thank you, everybody that donated, everybody that sent me a cash out, thank y'all, because if it wasn't for that, I would have did all that for free. Two and a half, three hours of my time gone, where I could have been in the bed sleep. I'm up here grinding for free. And you don't know until after that you done worked. They'll tell you ahead of time after you done did it. How would you feel about that? Would you want to quit? So I'm, I'm going to weigh that, this, these options real heavy today, man. And uh, I'll let y'all know some a little later. I'll, I don't take kind of the quitting, but this is getting ridiculous. Get it. Got it. Good. Bye. That's a level 200 RG over there, but they don't have a trap or anything like that pre-made. Screwed that up real bad. I was going to put my place here, and then I got that shit in the way now. So what happens when you have other people in your tribe, and, you know, shit happens. They come, they go. But like I said, you guys are welcome to come join me. In the beginning of the video, I showed um, where it is. I'm not sure I want to go here, though. I wanted to do a water base, but... Somebody really sucked up that riverbed there. Wonder who's over here. The lights are on, but nobody's on. They got that freaking razor wire fence now. I wonder if that bird is still here. That was a bird I saw here. Is it here? I don't see it. It was like right there. Oh, there it is. Is that it? No, there's the nest, but the bird's gone. Oh no, there's the bird. It's a level 32 turkey or some shit. In something pretty big in there. There's a Doty. Level 16. I could tame that. What I really need is an Anki so I can get more metal. Dodies are good, but. Well, I could try to get one, I guess. Getting light. Alright, so I guess we can do one more big ward. Let me see. 
Those tigers suck. Shit! Fucking tigers took it out. Holy shit, the tigers did take it out. That one's that one's a bit big, I think. <laughs> Damn, I didn't get any kite now. All that and I didn't get any fucking shell. be able to convert them but I'm, I'm so heavily damaged and I don't have any what I need to do is put on some uh, steel armor I need to make some steel armor because once you when you get hit by that bird you know it, it, you can go down look at that that's some of a bitch level 200 right there it's hanging around like nobody's business here. Try to make some primitive armor, some flak. I think I can do that. Oh, let's get the other big ward done. I forgot. So we're about, I think, 58 minutes. We should be able to finish up the other big ward. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Another big ward. I am back with another episode, as y'all can see. And again, thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And it's obvious. Oh, today is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. But I didn't say that. And as y'all can see, I didn't quit. As a result of your encouragement. As a result of y'all saying, how you gonna tell us not to quit and you gonna quit? Made me think. 
I was frustrated venting. But y'all said, which proves to me that you've been listening. You say don't quit. So how are you gonna quit? I'm telling y'all not to quit, not to give up. Then I'ma quit. And then one comment stood out to me the most. All of them stood out, but this one particular one made me say, you know what? You're right. Don't quit. Make them bang. Keep doing what you do. Let them bang. You say God got you? Prove it. So I say God got me. I believe God got me. Prove it. So God prove it. I'm going to prove it. So before I quit, that sounds like they no have to ban me. But I'm gonna do the best I can to not give them what they want, which is a reason to ban me. So a lot of y'all suggest I'm talking cold. A lot of people might not understand what the hell I'm saying. Oh well. Yeah, that's a Rex out there. I ain't quitting, but I ain't gonna stop doing what I'm doing either. So therefore, if it happen to get me out of here, oh well. But I'm gonna do what I do. And speaking of that, let me get to these lying ass Democrats. I was on Facebook just now. And I was reading a post that a black woman made. A black woman made. I need to say that. And it goes a little something like this. Democrats making all these promises. Kamala, or Kamala, whatever you want to call her, and Joe are still in office right now. Been in office the last four years. Why can't they make those changes now? Joe is still the president, shaking my head. Independent thinkers, we know why. This question is to the diehard Democrats that believe anything that your party tell you. No objective thinking, no critical thinking, no independent thinking, you just a robot like the 1970 Michael Jackson doing the robot. That's all y'all are. That's what I was. They making all these promises, what they gonna do. And y'all gonna just sit here and overlook the fact they've been in office the last four years. But here they are talking about what they gonna do. You been in a relationship with a man or a woman already for four years and the relationship sucks you done caught that man cheating and that woman cheating numerous times he did four years later that man talking about i ain't doing no cheating oh wow That's that woman talking about i don't do no cheating I'm that woman talking about i don't cheat that man talking about he don't cheat in our relationship we're gonna stay faithful As if y'all haven't already been together four years already, and he been cheating his ass off. But he's still making you promises how good he gonna treat you. He been treating you bad for the last four years. She been treating you bad for the last four years. But she, go, she or he gonna stand before you like you don't have a track record to look at. He done told you he will never cheat on you again, and then cheated on you again, and then cheated on you again, and then cheated on you again. And now here he stands before you four years later, when you talking about leaving, telling you he will never cheat on you. You know me, I don't cheat. You just caught it, he just been, the relationship is screwed, it's horrible. 
and he's standing before you, or she's standing before you, like the relationship is, is good. Because in their mind, it's good, and they trying to gaslight you into thinking it was good. Don't believe your lying eyes. You didn't see what you really saw. It's not as bad as you think it is. Trust me. That's what the Democrats are doing right now. Promising to do something that they already had the chance to do and didn't do. A cheating man, cheating woman, promising to be faithful and that they haven't been cheating all along. You didn't call them. I ain't cheating on you. What? I ain't never cheating on you. What? But I done caught you eight times. You got two babies on the outside. DNA test saves your baby. Girl, I ain't never cheated on you. Let's stay together. This is gonna be the best relationship you ever been in. Like you just met her. Like you don't know her. Like you ain't already had four years with her. That was horrible. They making you promises about the future that they didn't deliver on since you've been with them. You done gave them four years. And it's got worse every year. Now they want four more years. They want some more of your time, some more of your life to waste. That's what the Democrats are doing. They promising you stuff like this their first term. As if they're not already in office right now. If you didn't think, you would assume Kamala and Joe or what have you, or Kamala, they running for their first term. As if they're not already in office. Make it make sense. You said they're promising to do all these things in the next four years. Who done screwed up the last four years? Oh, I know, the Republicans. Because if you ask one of them, well, what about the last four years they have screwed up the economy? They even gonna say the economy ain't bad, I'm doing good. You just ain't trying hard enough. The economy is good. I'm doing good. I done heard some guy you know, talking about how good they doing. So the economy must be good, because they doing good. But during the crash of 2008, when it was a certified, Recession. Certified recession. Do y'all know there were still people making money even during that time when you know we were doing bad? We were in a recession in 2008. And even then, there were people making millions. So what, what you look like listening to them during that recession telling you, hey, we ain't in a recession. I'm doing good. That's going on right now. The economy is screwed, and you got people on the Democrat side saying, hey, the economy, this economy is doing great. I'm doing good. What are y'all talking about? During the recession, people made millions, while everybody else, the majority of people, lost damn near, if not everything. During the recession, during Bush end, y'all remember that? Even then, there were people that were doing good. But what you didn't have were those people coming out saying, hey, we ain't in a recession. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm doing well. No, they kept it to themselves that they was doing well because they know the economy fucked up. But it was a Republican that effed it up, so they didn't mind saying it. Now if a Democrat that effed it up, they keep it a hush-hush because they liberal leaning. They can't make their boy look bad because they don't want it to be a wash, the election. A landslide, which is going to be anyway. Trump going to win in a landslide. No matter what they're telling you on these little platforms, I'm on the ground. He's going to win in a landslide. Ain't going to be close. So here you got people now t talking to us like we crazy. Tell us how good everything is. These are the best four years you've ever had. And you looking around like you're in a relationship with a narcissist. They call Trump a narcissist, but it's really the Democrat Party. They're the narcissists. Gaslighting the hell out of us. 
What you experiencing, you really ain't experiencing, according to them. What you feeling is not real. You imagining it, you making it up. You're not really struggling, you're lying. The gas lighting us. Those who don't know no better. It ain't working on me, it ain't working on you. So for you to stand before us now, talk about what you gonna do. It ain't done nothing. Nothing. Well, yes, you have. You done something. You made it worse. You made our lives worse. Most of us. Not you who doing good. I understand y'all ain't, you can't relate to us. I'm doing good. My work is slow here, but I'm still doing good. I can say F y'all. And play along, you know, and, and get on the liberal platform and do a whole lot better what I'm doing now if I play ball. My subscriber would boom. If I play ball. Call it the greatest. I would hurt. What y'all talking about? The economy is booming, the Dow Jones is up. Have you heard about Project 2025? If I did all that, there wouldn't be a subscriber, y'all. You'll get all the notifications. I ain't gonna do that. That's lying. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be me until the wheels fall off. Till God call me to the upper room. I'm gonna be here doing what I'm supposed to do. I can sleep at night. I sleep like a, uh, I sleep good. Cause I know I ain't effed over nobody today. I know I ain't mistreated nobody today. I ain't lied to nobody. I ain't did none of that. Other than the haters, and I ain't done nothing to them, so they don't, I don't worry about them. I got a hater, the leader. It deletes haters, if you know what I mean. So I ain't worried about them. Then they brought, if you watch, I can't watch that. I, I, I saw clips of it. And I watched Tariq Nasheed video today. He brought he made he brought up a point that I didn't even I didn't know. I don't know everything. I'm a genius, but I know it still I got the, a lot to learn. I watched Tariq Nasheed. And I'm more in line with him. As far as political views. Independent. He talked about Democrats and Republicans. Me too. We just talking about Democrats right now the most because they're in power. If the Republicans was in power right now screwing things up, I'll be on them too. I promise you. Let it happen. I don't want it to happen, but if Republicans gain power back, Trump getting that BSing, Republicans BSing, watch how hard I go on the Republicans if you think I'm playing. Some of y'all know I ain't bullshit. I'm going to get it to the Republicans just like I'm getting it to the Democrats if they get in that bullshit. So now he brought up a point. Because last night they brought up the Central Park Five. Like Donald Trump is the reason they got locked up and they were innocent. Like Donald Trump prosecuted them because he was calling for the death penalty for the crime that they were convicted of. Which is punished by the death penalty. If they were really guilty, just find out later on they weren't guilty. But here's something left out last night on stage. While y'all going at Trump for the Central Park Five, the people who prosecuted the Central Park Five were Democrats. What a name that. The district attorney at the time, I wrote it down. Thank you. Thank you. Her name was Laura Feinstein. Feinstein. During the time that the Central Park Five was done wrong. Let me get that lady's name. Hold on, y'all. I wrote it down and lost it. Hold on. Here it is. Linda Fairstein. A Fairstein. Sound like a the J word wasn't him. She was a prosecutor 
during the six o'clock five. And back then, it was like 1988, which is now the same. New York both have been Democrat. At that time, Trump was a Democrat. Tell the truth, shame the devil. So they brought up the Central Park Five last night to talk bad about, like Trump got him locked up. It was Trump's fault. But it was Democrats that prosecuted him. Threw him under the bus, convicted him, tried to keep him locked up. Democrats. Now go back, all y'all, what about the Central Park Five? Go back and find out who prosecuted him. They were Democrats. Thanks to Rick Nasheed for pointing that out to me. Democrats, Democrat district attorney, Democrat mayor, Democrat everything. That's who went out for Central Park Five. Donald Trump wasn't in politics at the time. He was just an uh, everyday, he was a citizen. Donald Trump didn't have any political power other than bribing politicians, which he admitted that he did. That's how he know how crooked and corrupt they are, because he said, I bribed plenty of them. So, Democrats answer that question for us. Why did the Democrat Party go so hard and convict five innocent black men of a crime they didn't commit? They were Democrats. That Trump didn't do that. Trump get all the hype because he was the famous guy with the newspaper ad, they would have you think Trump convicted them. Trump locked them up. Trump put false charges on them. That's the way they'll make it seem like it wasn't Democrats that did all the dirty work. New York, Democrat, you follow me now? Central Park Five, y'all shouldn't have had y'all ass up there last night with them damn Democrats and they the ones who prosecuted you, not Trump. My people perish for lack of knowledge. But hey, do what you want to do. But I still have this question, Democrats. Once again, Democrats making all these promises. Kamala and Joe are still in office. Why can't they make those changes now? Joe is still a president. Uh, shaking my head. So bad. somebody answer that for me. Well, I know why they can't do it. It's the Republicans. The Republicans won't let us do what we're trying to do. They fight against everything we're trying to do. Well, how are you still up here making promises now? Are the Republicans not going to prevent you from making the same promises come true? If y'all reason and y'all excuse for not doing nothing over the last four years is the Republicans, if y'all using the Republicans for an excuse of why these last four years y'all ain't kept none of these promises, it's the Republican fault. Why should we give you another chance for the Republicans to stop you again? Since the Republicans have no problem stopping y'all, why they ain't gonna stop you again if we reelect you? For you Democrats that's gonna blame the Republicans for why Joe and Kamala haven't gotten nothing done these last four years. They forgave a few students with debt loans. That's it. and LGBTQ rights and brought in a bunch of illegal immigrants and took care of them. But other than that, they ain't done nothing for the American citizens, the American people, the American, the country, the United States, ain't done nothing for us, but made it worse than what it was before he got it. So what's our reasoning for the last four years? I already know, the Republicans. It's the Republican fault that the Democrat party hadn't gotten them done, that they suck, oh, that they weren't able to pass none of these so-called policies that's going to help the American people. It's the Republicans' fault against everything we're trying to do. So if that's true, that shows me that y'all weak. You ain't no power. You're soft. The Republicans just stop everything y'all trying to do. If they can stop you then, they can stop you now, right? So if y'all get reelected, the Republicans gonna stop y'all again for the next four years like they stopped you the last four years. According to y'all, your logic is the Republicans stopping you. What's gonna keep them from stopping you now? If you get back in there. Kamala, aren't them same Republicans still there? 
So if you couldn't get nothing accomplished now because of the Republicans, you ain't gonna be able to get nothing accomplished then because of the Republicans. So therefore, if the Republicans making shit happen, that's what we need to go with. Trump 2024. Get it, got it good, bye. Come on, go down, you son of a bitch. Ah, damn it. Be there all day. Oh, thank God I got some of that left. All right, just in case. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This is why you're supposed to make a trap so it's easier. I just didn't have a trap. So I was like, let me go ahead and just chill out here. Chase him around, hope I get lucky, and I did, thankfully. Oh, man. Ah. Jesus. Oh boy. Anyway, it's an hour and 22 minutes. I gotta wait for this thing to tame up and then have it follow me back to the base. Um, I'm gonna have to put down a foundation somewhere, but this is too far away from the mountain, you know what I mean? The mountain's over there. Uh, I might make one over there on the other side of the mountain without any water. As much as I don't like being without a beach, I can still have something over there and hope nothing gets me but you know I only have I think six or seven uh, behemoth gates but I'll see I'll think about it anyway thanks for watching hopefully I can tame this bird it's a 208 so that's not bad uh, I'm glad the other guys roughed it up a bit that way it's easier easier to uh, tame up because once you bring down the, the health a little bit it's easier for you to tame the the animal and as you can see on my my gun it was like down to like one quarter and only 42 shots left so yeah <laughs> that's the old-fashioned way to do it where you don't know how to do it it's, i don't care it's a lot better than, i have a level i'm on a level 40 and i've been able to accomplish all this stuff so you imagine a 208 you know so anyway have a good night Thanks for watching.